Welcome, Mr. Matt Landsman. Before we start properly, just tell us a bit about you. How would you describe your own politics? Would you say you're a revolutionary, for instance? Well, uh, no, I don't think I'd say a revolution. I, I want to transform society into a completely different sort of society. Radical you socialist know, would do? I'm a radical socialist, absolutely. I, you know, I want to see a society that, that, that treats people as, you know, that, 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 that has, that, whose governments uh, design policies that are for the benefit of people, not for profit. And Momentum has a series of, of um, core beliefs, as it were. It's an ideological organisation. You sign up to Momentum and you sign up to these beliefs. I'm not using an ideological in a, in a hostile sense, but, for instance, you say that you must redistribute wealth and power from the many, from the few to the many. Th that is certainly true, but I think most of the people who've joined the Labour Party actually come in with very little ideological baggage. You know, they don't remember, uh, you know, the Soviet Union. They don't remember the debates that I was involved in mm. in the 1980s, you know, the, yes. uh, in, Which, when, I, when I helped to organise Tony Benn's campaign. One of the problems about the, 19, the 70s and the 80s from the point of view of the left is the left hated each other and they hated other Labour Party members more sometimes than they seemed to hate the Tories. There was a lot of internal friction. Is that still a problem? Uh, I, I think there was internal strife, and I think we've, we, you know, I've learnt the lessons that uh, internal strife doesn't help the Labour Party. I think we saw that in the, in the starting point uh, of the general election campaign, which followed uh, two years of too much strife in the Labour Party after Jeremy Corbyn's first victory. But I think we've put that behind us now at this conference, in which the party was really united, um, you know, around the programme. Well, not the one in Manchester, the one in Brighton yeah, last yeah. week, um, okay. well, you know, which which was a really really healthy and I. I think we're, we're now a united party, and I I don't think that they, you know I don't think that we've re, that, that we can return to that time. You know, we in the but general election campaign we went out and campaigned for, MP, for for candidates right across the political spectrum of the Labour Party. And now you have organisers up and down the country in constituencies up and down the country trying right at this moment to topple lots of Tory MPs who are here in Manchester. What's your message to them? Well, they need to they need to prepare because we're in their constituencies now. We're all we're training our canvassers to persuade people on the doorstep. Uh, we're mobilising thousands of people every weekend uh, to, uh, to, to go to uh, Tory marginals and unseat Tory MPs. Let's return to the politics of it. Um, you talk about a redistribution of wealth, and we both know that wealth in this country is concentrated in property and pensions and so forth. And yet, so far, the Labour Party is not prepared to talk about a wealth tax. It talks about income tax rises, but doesn't the Labour Party need to address the idea of a wealth tax? Well, I, I, I think uh, you know we, we, we're at a we're at an early stage in the development of the detail of the policy that was presented in the manifesto of the country. That that you know it's the first time in my life that I've been knocking on doors and found uh, voters who've already read uh, the Labour Party manifesto yes. and know what's in it. So it inspired lots of enthusiasm. We've got to put more detail in it over the next uh, between now and the election, however long that takes. The great confrontation, some would say, in the modern world is between, as it were, politics on the one hand, social democracy on the one hand, and the big big corporations who are reshaping life everywhere, very often avoiding paying taxes and so forth. And to deal with that, you need the biggest organisations you can, and it's been the EU who has taken on Google, not the British government. Well, I think the thing about modern capitalism is that global corporations are now so global, so international, that they can ride sh roughshod over not only nation states, but, in, but even the EU. And you know, th that is what we're up so, against. So that being so, why did you organise at Brighton to stop the Labour Party debating Brexit? What happened at, at Brighton was we had lots of debate about Brexit. We knew we were going to have that. No votes. The, 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 uh, there was a vote on the NEC statement, which was overwhelmingly carried. Uh, there, there were speeches by uh, Keir Starmer mm. and Emily Thornbury. Uh, but you know, outside the conference chamber, there was lots of debate on the fringes, including at many fringe meetings that we, uh, we organised so ourselves. it wasn't just an attempt to avoid embarrassing Jeremy Corbyn? Well, there, uh, Brexit, is not, Brexit is not the only thing that is important. You know, there were other policies sure. that we wanted to promote. We wanted a discussion about the NHS, which is in crisis, about housing, you know, which, which is you know, the, the, mm. the, the lack of affordable housing is now affecting uh, families of all, you know, right across the spe social spectrum, about railways, about social care, for the elderly. So those were the subjects that we positively promoted. And, you know, there are lots of sure. things that are important to discuss. W one thing that's important to discuss, you, you come from a, a, a devout and traditional Jewish family yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, there's been a lot of conversation about anti-Semitism on the left and in the Labour Party and mm -hmm. the leader of Brighton Council, who's a Labour man, has said he doesn't want the Labour Party back in Brighton until it's sorted out its anti-Semitism problem. As a Jew yourself, how do you feel about that, the mood on parts of the, of the left about Israel and about 
Jewishness? Well, look, first of all, there is a pro you know, anti-Semitism is a problem throughout society. It and would be growing, extremely probably. surprising if it wasn't also present in the Labour Party, alongside other uh, you know, mm. forms of discrimination, which is why I'm so pleased that uh, the National Executive of the Labour Party put a statement which made very clear our absolute opposition to all forms of discrimination, anti-Semitism, uh, Islamophobia, and so on. And you know, it's incredibly important to me as a Jew. You know, my, my Jewish identity is important to me, and actually my reading as a child about the oppression uh, and uh, 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 victimization of Jews through the centuries from the Roman Empire to the 20th century culminating in the in the Holocaust is what defined my politics so I'm very clearly against any form of anti-semitism and so when party. you hear people like Ken Loach or, or, or McCluskey saying there's not really any anti-semitism problem in the Labour Party I've never heard an anti-semitic comment do you think there's a danger or a slight blindness on that subject by some people well, on the left they think you know, we're on the left we can't possibly be discriminatory we can't possibly be anti-semitic and they don't really think about it well, I think it is the case that uh, you know you, you have to be a Jew to to actually experience anti-Semitism. I have actually experienced anti-Semitism. My children, who are only half Jewish or are not halakhically Jewish, have experienced anti-Semitism. I know that there is a problem with anti-Semitism, uh, and and, right. and it has to be dealt with. It's a little it it's a little bit strange having you here in the middle of the Tory Party conference. I can't resist a last question, uh, a message for the Prime Minister will be on that sofa shortly. Uh, well, uh, I, I, uh, I would ask her, you know, we've, we've been talking about abuse. Um, in Activate, which is the name of, the, of that imitation momentum in the Tory party, uh, one of their activists talked about gassing chavs in the context of, uh, of the appalling uh, disaster at Grenfell Tower. I'd like to know what she has to say to those activists. 